How's it going, everybody? Drum here back, and as the title portrays, yes. Apparently, there is a new Under Night game coming through, and it's shocking. Now, a lot of people at this point would be like, Drum, why, why are you shocked? Like, obviously, it was going to happen. Obviously, right? No. Here's the thing, is that I didn't believe it was going to happen. I, I thought they were going to do what they said they were going to do, and it was going to, like, if they were going to bring DLC... Um, it was just gonna be on Eunice, like, Eunice is that ground where they could just, like, how do I say it, fix things, and it would be a lot more cheaper to do just an update and focus on Eunice rather than making an entirely new game, and having just putting every update into that new game, like, believe it, it's actually, it's cheaper, and are they gonna do that? I don't know, it's shocking, um, so as it says right here, Under Night in Birth EXE Clear, rated for the PS4 and Switch in Taiwan. Um, it was by Jimmasu Magazines, and there isn't that much information regarding it. Obviously, it just leaked as of a couple of minutes ago, I guess you could say, hours ago, because I was streaming, so I didn't know. And it's announced for the PlayStation 4 and the Switch. So keeping the Switch conversation last, I just want to talk about what is this game? What is it? Like, are they pulling a Street Fighter and a Blaze Blue? Do I have to actually buy an entirely new game? Or are they going to do what they did with, again, with Street Fighter and Blaze and Blaze Blue CF? In Street Fighter, let's just say, for example, Arcade Edition, right? Um, to get Ultra Street Fighter 4, yes, that's a totally, like, new game. But if you go to the PSN store and you have basically Street Fighter Arcade Edition, you can only spend like, what, $20 or something to get Ultra Street Fighter 4? Or is it going to be like uh, BBCF where, where BBCF you had like 1.0? And Mori said, you know, well, there's not going to be any more BB games after this for a while. And then you had 2.0 that changed the game dramatically. Like, is it going to be like that? Or what's happening? I'm very, very curious about this. And it's so weird because you had Uniel, which is just EXE late, then Eunice, late test, and then all of a sudden, I don't know, birth, EXE late clear. What's happening? Um, I guess in terms of speculation, like obviously with an, with this, we may just get a new new characters. Um, maybe we'll get four. Maybe we'll get only two. I mean, we tech te in technicality, we did get four for Eunice, which is Wagner, Phonin, Mika, and uh, and Kidu. Uh, but only in arcades was Mika and Phonin playable. And Kidu and Wagner were literally PlayStation exclusive for a time. So that leaves the question: Are they actually gonna do something with the arcade scene? Are they gonna do the same thing they've been doing for a while, which is two characters there, and then we're gonna get two more characters for the console release? Like, what is happening? Like, it's pretty safe to say that the one character that again has a chance of making it in is Londrakia. Londrakia, Ice Dude, basically like. He sees Wagner as a rival, little like buddies with Merkava, not literally, but you get it. And then we got uh, Kaguya, I think her name was. She is like the friend of Orie. She is a friend of Mika. She's basically a priest-looking character with uh, with guns. Obviously, you gotta have that in anime fighting games. But then, if they really do take the route of two characters for the arcades, and then we get two more characters for the console. What's actually gonna happen? Like, who else is gonna be there? Like, are they are they actually gonna put like a uh, freaking like ogre? Like, are they gonna go with Voided Roger? We again, just speculations. It's just very odd that this is happening. No release date whatsoever, um, and I'm pretty damn positive this will definitely come out probably sometime after Evo. Uh, but the fact remains is that it's a thing. It is a thing, and given its past events, with its arcade runs, to its console runs, I am very curious if we're gonna get four more characters, or we're gonna just get two. And before anybody say, well, four seems a little bit too much for French Bread. And you're right, French Bread, you know, they, they, they do the budget, but 
they put in that soul when making their game. You guys gotta remember is that they hired, uh, they expanded their offices like twice in the same damn year. It is crazy. They hired battle programmers, programmers in general. They hired a ton of pixel artists. Again, they expanded their offices multiple times. They're they're getting that work. They're they're having a lot of hands. So maybe just maybe four is what we're getting. Four characters. But the question remains, who? Anyways, going back on topic with the Switch announcement, I am not shocked. Uh, but at the same time, I'm kind of happy. Like the thing is, is that Auto Knight is it was never a ultra graphically powerhouse of a fighting game. It's Bare, bare minimum, especially with the stages. It's like, oh, you're gonna, I'm gonna fight on a rooftop with the moon. Oh, I'm gonna literally fight under a highway and stuff like that. Oh, I'm gonna fight in a mall. That it's very, very basic, and not not in a bad way, but that's just how it is. And then you gotta compare it to like, oh, BB is on a switch, and that shit has crazy ass stages, things happening left and right. Um, and then you have Dragon Ball, where Dragon Ball you could do, you could literally do three v three on the damn switch, and it's just. Order chaos on the Switch, so it's cool that it's coming to the Switch. Um, basically, it's like, yo, I'm definitely gonna like practice on the go and so on and so forth. That's that's like the that's like the purpose of the Switch overall. Now it's just to practice on the go in, in terms of a fighting game. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy that it's coming to the Switch, and maybe this will help it even get more into the public eye. It, it, it already got in the public eye when it was announced to Evo, and people were picking it up for like twenty dollars or even less. Like it's already, it's already gained some traction thanks to Evo and obviously thanks to BB Tag. But now that it's on a Switch, I'm very, very curious how well it's gonna do. But at the end of the day, I am genuinely happy. I, I really am. But maybe this will be debunked. I don't know. I mean, the logo seems pretty. <laughs> the logo seems pretty like uh, convincing. It's just so weird, though. It's just like. Auto Knight Amber, DXC late, clear. Like, they couldn't do latest clear or any of that nature. I, I do like the light blue, the light blue the, of the logo in the back. It's, see, it's really, it's a really nice touch. It's a different take from the pink slash purple that they've been using. Um, and basically the dark ass red that they're really, or that they were really known about. The fact that it's just like this light blue color, it, it actually makes it pop out more and I, I kind of dig it. But it's like, I'm just worried in what it will be. Is it gonna, do I actually have to pay $50 to get this? Um, or can I spend like $20 like how Street Fighter did it? Like Street Fighter, like, oh, you got Arcade Edition? You want Ultra? Pay, just pay 20 bucks and you got this. Like, are we gonna do that? Or, or do I have to pay like 50 bucks to get this? Like, that's just where my worry comes in. Anyways, I'll be back as soon as more news drops about, I guess, on a night, clear. <laughs> um, my name is Jerome. And I will see you guys within the next video.